good? Okay. Wow, sir. You know, it's amazing you made it. You know, I was impressed because, you know, being a military veteran, yeah. I never fly from overseas. You get a little snooze time, but yeah. if you're working for people, you don't. That's that peace time to think yeah. and work a little bit and, you know, get some uh, stuff done, look, right? Look, piece of cake, 11 hour flight. Yeah. I got off that flight, made my way over here. Um, but listen, um, the work of the Hank Stewart Foundation is so important. And it's always wonderful to see people come together together to do the things that really matter. Yeah, you know, I tell you one thing that, and and I'll just talk about your race a little bit, sure. right? And uh, where facts matter and passion truly matters, and it shows that if you're truly passionate and dedicated to a cause, the true person comes out. Mm. You can't block that. It's going to come out, and it shows that you are the true individual between the two okay so now i'm gonna ask you a good question how does it feel that you don't have to run a race anymore it feels while? great my mm -hmm. name's been on the ballot five times in three years uh, and um, i'm just deeply honored that time and time again the people of georgia have said we want you to represent us as we take stock of our families as we consider our highest hopes for our children as we look at our aging parents and consider the burdens and the blessings of aging since all of us can't go to washington here's what we're going to do we're going we're gonna to send you to dc mm -hmm. and we're going to trust that at the end of the day you're going to be thinking about us and our families it's a real high honor for the people in your state to say we, we want you to represent them and it's something that i i um, deeply cherish. Even in a, in a city and change is slow, it's hard, but every few days I pinch myself because I can't believe I get to do this. So I'm going to ask you two questions, right? So one is, man, I, you know, you get to breathe a little bit that you don't have to do a campaign. Woo, I know that's a weight off your shoulder. So what keeps you awake at night right now? Our democracy. Um, listen, Democracy is not just one issue alongside other issues. It is the very framework in which we get to fight for the things that matter. We're talking about health care, jobs and opportunity, the cost of getting a college education or technical school education, child care, all of these issues, voting rights. It's all about the democracy. And, and we are witnessing in this country, in this moment, uh, an assault for people who are much more in love with power than they are with democracy. Yes. And so it's it's more important than ever that we show up and we fight for the things that count. And uh, look at my race, look at my story, and know that we're going to fight. And me, and me being a 28 year military veteran, I get it. Thank right? you for your service. So, now, let me ask you this right here, right? If you had this one moment to tell the youth what they needed to focus on in order to have a decent, successfully career and be able to give back to the community, what would you tell them? Listen, study hard and um, find that thing that you would do for free. Uh, except that you have to be able to pay them work. <laughs> the if work. you could, you do it for free. That's right. Howard Thurman put it this way. He said, ask not what the world needs. Mm -hmm. Ask what makes you come alive and go and do that. That's what the world needs is people who come alive. And there's nothing like seeing a young person who's got that spark in their eye because they found something that they really want to do. But it takes discipline, it takes hard work, it takes perseverance, and uh, have some fun along the way. And we're going to take a picture now. All right. All right. <laughs> hey, TZ, you ready? It's pretty sharp, man. Thank you for being super, man. I'm not.